Have you ever stopped to think about how amazing your smartphone is? It has more computing power than the system NASA used to put humans on the moon. 50 years ago, no one could have imagined that you would be able to browse the web, listen to your favorite bands, and connect with your friends using a single object that fits in the palm of your hand. None of this would be possible without chemistry. About 91 of the 118 elements are metals. Around 20 are used to build your phone. Most metals share distinct physical properties that make them ideal for manufacturing smartphones. Metals have luster, which means they reflect light. Smartphone designers use this property to market smartphones as a sleek and modern piece of technology. Metals form strong crystalline structures, which contributes to durability. If you accidentally dropped your phone, the metal shell wouldn't break, but you may have to live with a cracked screen. Unlike glass, metals are malleable, which means they can be hammered or pressed permanently out of shape without breaking or cracking. Your smartphone can distinguish between a tap, scroll, or zoom because of metal's ability to conduct electricity so well. Modern smartphones utilize capacitive touch screens. The screen contains a sheet of glass with thin lines of a highly conductive metal compound arranged in a grid pattern. At each intersection, an electrostatic field is generated and registered as neutral. When you touch the screen, a tiny bit of electrical charge enters your finger, which disrupts the field and produces a signal. Metals are ductile, meaning they can be pulled into wires. Whenever you interact with your phone, a signal is transmitted through a complex highway of wires to your processor. Your processor is like the brain of your smartphone. Similar to the human brain, it receives signals from different parts of your phone and translates them into instructions for action. Like opening YouTube so you can watch the latest video of baby goats in pajamas. Like metals, metalloids have luster. But unlike metals, they're not malleable or ductile, so they break apart easily. Metalloids are a crucial component of your processor because they're semiconductors, meaning they conduct electricity, but not quite as well as metals. Semiconductors allow electricity to pass through your phone's transistors in a controlled manner. If you used metal, too many of your transistors would activate, causing your processor to malfunction. The properties of non-metals are the opposite of metals. They're brittle solids or gaseous at room temperature, and they're not malleable, conductive, or ductile. Their specific properties are so diverse, they don't have widespread applications like metals. One application is responsible for powering up your phone. In a battery, there's a positive electrode, usually made of a lithium compound, and a negative electrode, usually made of carbon, a non-metal. When the battery is charging, the positive electrode gives up some of its lithium ions, which move through to the negative electrode. When the battery is being used, the lithium ions travel back to the positive electrode, producing the energy needed to do things, like map directions to a new restaurant in town. By utilizing the general properties of metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we can continue to create incredible advancements in technology. Next time you text your friend about meeting up for pizza, take a moment to appreciate the complex chemistry responsible for making it happen. We wouldn't be able to create these videos without your support. If you like what you see, like and subscribe to our channel. If you love YSI and would like to see it grow, please consider supporting us on Patreon.